For this scan, we're going to be using the Universal Object Holder, which is located in the upper left-hand corner of your accessory kit. For the demo, we're going to be using this mini skull, what was carved out of a bone, and use GC Gradia for the teeth. We're going to put this onto the putty of the Universal Object Holder. Since the teeth have a shine to them, we need to use a white powder spray to cover that. Shake your bottle, spray it on with a thin coat so the shine is no longer there. Now we're going to open up our AdvoScan software. From the main menu, we're going to go over to Universal Mode and we're going to name the project name. Once you've done this, click the start button. On the left side of the screen for add scan, we're going to add a single object. Name the object what we're going to scan. For this, it's going to be the top of the skull. Click OK. Now we're going to put the model into the scanner. Once you've done this, press the start button. Once the scanning is complete, we're going to need to trim the object. What I like to do is get the object horizontal with me, and then I'm going to use the two balls on the trimming plate to make it horizontal as well, and then use the up and down arrow to cut it. I like to get about half of the model away, get the putty out of there, and when you're done, in the lower right, click the matching button. This is going to give us the final scan of the top of it. Now we need to add the bottom. To do this, go to Add Scan on the left, choose Single Object, rename this one, and click the OK button. Take the object out of the scanner and we're going to flip it upside down on the putty. As you can see, the bottom of here still has a little bit of shine to it. So we're just going to use a quick check again, put that on there. Put it back into the scanner, and when that's done, hit play. Now, we're going to need to trim the bottom part. Same thing, I like to get it horizontal. Use the balls on the trimming plate to get it horizontal as well. The up and down arrow to cut about half of it away. And then once we're done with that, again, bottom right hand corner, we're gonna click the matching button. Now we need to combine the two meshes. To do this, on the left side, click the combine mesh button, click OK and we're gonna get them in the same orientation. Once you do this, left click a dot on each one in the same position. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. For this one, you're gonna hold control and click the dot. Click next and you'll see the scan has meshed together. We're gonna to click next one more time. And there you go, your scan is all done.